My map was published in 1815, but the thing is, I'd already been arrested twice in 1814 for debts I'd left behind in Bath. I bought property, then had to sell it and invested in an early railway business, but couldn't cover my debt. The map sold infrequently, and my books, strata identified and stratigraphical system were never completed because I could not find sufficient subscribers. I was arrested in 1819 and sent to King's Bench Debtors Prison. I'm sorry to hear that. So was I. After that, I took to working in the north of England. My uncle and I spent quite a lot of time giving lectures in Yorkshire between 1824 and 26. We often stayed in Scarborough, not far from here at number two Huntress Row, and my uncle later suggested the design of the Rotunda Museum. You mean this building we're in now? Indeed. Sir John Johnson was a great admirer of my uncle's work and president of the Scarborough Philosophical Society. When they raised money to build this museum, he asked my uncle to suggest a design. If you go up to the top floor and look up, you'll see a reproduction of my geological diagram of the Yorkshire coast running all around the balcony. So, success at last. He'd escaped his creditors finally. <laughs> Settled in Yorkshire and found employment. Well, sort of. Uncle was offered a job as a mineral surveyor in Russia. Doesn't say anything about that here. Well, no, it won't. Uncle proved so difficult to locate that the letter containing the job offer did not reach him for seven years. And, of course, the post had been filled. Is it just me, or was your uncle the unluckiest man in the world? I once wrote that Smith's achievements had been despite long and heavy afflictions, poverty, disappointment and neglect, forced seclusion from the world of science. Well, I thought you were brilliant. OK, who are you? I'm Sir John Johnson of Hackness. Smith was a steward on my estate, and I was delighted to have him work for me. London's loss was my gain. He also worked as a tutor, and I think this was finally the most stable and peaceful period of his life. Later, his brilliant work also finally received proper recognition. In 1835, Trinity College, Dublin, gave him an honorary doctorate of laws. Laws? There was no such thing as science degrees back then, although I'm sure he'd have had one now. He was committed to geology. My uncle even died on his way to a meeting for the British Association for the Advancement of Science in 1839. It says here the Geological Society of London named a medal after him. Yes, in 1977, for excellence in contributions to applied and economic aspects of geology. Well, recognition at last. But changing the world is his real legacy. Yes. Yes, it is. But for me, of course, his legacy was that he took me in, educated me, filled me with the benefit of his experiences, and encouraged me to become a scientist. Well, Madam Narrator, let's have a look at your jigsaw. There are still so many pieces missing. You'll just have to keep reading and researching if you want to know more. At least you understand now why my uncle's map was so important. Yes, so it wasn't quite a life of triumph, but you really did change the world. Why, thank you. Now that you know all about it, why don't you go and have a look at the copy of my map over there? Then why not go upstairs and look at the frieze I designed? <laughs> yes, go on. I've got some reading to do.